Hello everybody, hope we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited. And a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Okay, so something different today. You know, I'm going to show you around some affluent areas of Liverpool. Let's go and check this little area out. Most of us know the history of you know, the Beatles and especially John Lennon who was murdered by Mark Chapman in 1980 in New York. What was the conspiracies on that one? No one really knows the reason why, apart from the fact that he had a voice. He was like a Malcolm X, you know, and he wasn't shy about sharing his views. And then, you know, People believe that he was taken out by the government. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Or a jealous fan, or you'll never know. So this is the Penny Lane shop where you can buy all your memorabilia. Absolutely incredible. Penny Lane, the most famous lane in the world, immortalised by the song Penny Lane by the Beatles in 1967. So this is Penny Lane Community Centre stroke Beatles Visitors Centre and it's run by volunteers. You know, they cut the grass, they make sure it's clean, tidy and you know, they respect what they've got here. Sefton Park was owned many moons ago by the Molyneux of Croxteth Hall and he sold this park to Liverpool City Council for a hundred thousand pound. That was way, way more than that. We seem to have a little bit of filming going on over here. Must be making a football movie. Oh, something to do with the footy game. Do you want to see what it's about, eh? The security here. What's to say? I'm going to keep really quiet because I might get kicked off. Shit. I might sneak on and become, like, have a walk on part as Billy the Kid. It's a Channel 4 drama called The Gathering. Um, Warren Brown, looks like the leading role. He came over and said hello. He's a machine, him. you know, and he can fucking fight. Check him out, Warren Brown. The Gathering, coming soon. What a lovely day as well. Shefton Park, check it out. So there's some glorious areas in Liverpool. This is Toxteth Dingle, and this is the oldest chapel in Liverpool. It was built in 1618. You can't go inside because the gates are locked, but we'll just admire its beauty from, from the outside. This is Park Road. Boom, there you go.
St. James Gardens in Liverpool. It's got to be one of the oldest graveyards, you know, in this city. There was over 10,000 people buried in this graveyard. That's why they had to open the likes of Smith Down Road and, you know, the Creme from Springwood. Baltic market seems to be quite popular. It's full of hipsters and you know, it's very bohemian. It's a lovely part of Liverpool. You know, it's fastly becoming the place to be. That's a It is, isn't it? And your place is called Karma, isn't it? So this is it, the end of the road. This is where the Beatles first found fame. In the cabin on Matthew Street. I'm not too keen on this bouncer, he doesn't like me. But anyway, moving on. There you go, Liverpool. Thanks for watching. Please from nice areas. Take care, all the best.